Hey folks, my name's James Joshua Otto and I'm here today on behalf of Fracture Sounds to walk you through the brand new sample library, the Woodchester Piano. The Woodchester Piano is a new sample library produced by Fracture Sounds in collaboration with film and TV composer James Everingham. I'll get into the technicalities in a minute, but first of all, let me just play a little bit so you can hear how this sounds. So this is James Everingham's Steinberg German Series S130 upright piano with the practice felt pedal activated. So let's have a look at the interface. We've got here a colour dial which uh, allows you to adjust uh, an EQ curve which really just changes the presence of the piano. So if I dial it right down here you can hear that the piano is much more intimate, much more mellow. And then if I dial it right up, you can hear the presence is really increased, which can really help it punch through a mix. Let's leave it in the middle for now. We've got stereo width, which does what it says on the tin. So at completely minus 50 here, we're completely mono. If I gradually take that up as I continue to play, Lovely. And I think I'll leave that on zero as well. If you command and click, then you can reset these parameters to zero, which is a useful feature. I'll show you the atmosphere layers over here in just a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at the piano noise uh, layers here. We've got the key release uh, volume. So you can hear how that affects the sound. We've got the pedal noise. Lovely. And we've got the uh, pianist noise here as well. That uh, controls the intensity of the pianist, so it's not just how, um, how loud they are, it's also how frequently the pianist noise is triggered. Uh, so for example, if I turn this right up, you can hear... You can hear how the pianist is really into it. And then in the settings here, we've got velocity response, and sample start. The sample start lets you control the tightness of the instrument response. So with this dialed right down, uh, the finger or hammer sound uh, comes through a lot more. But latency is increased slightly. So I'm gonna leave that in the middle for now. We've got a reverb uh, adjustment here. And then you can see here on the right, we've got the atmosphere layers. The atmosphere layers are based on the Fracture Sounds playable pad concept, which was popular in the previous Dreams of the Library, if you know that. Um, Woodchester Piano has three of those layers, the ache, the dream, and the clouds layers. Now what I'm going to do is play you through those separately so you can hear how they work with the piano. So we've got the ache layer here. 
It's a beautiful, smooth, hazy sustain. Lovely. Let's have a listen to the dream layer. So that's like a textural, shimmering effect. Really adds a nice bit of detail. Let's have a listen to the clouds layer. The clouds layer is a reversed granular delay which evolves over time. So if I hold down one of these chords, you can hear you can hear that delicious reverse effect ring out. Now you can load and unload layers from RAM using these uh, toggles here. So that can be helpful to just save a bit of memory. Let me just also play you the raw sound on its own so you can hear the piano samples uh, in all their glory. As I said before, we've got this atmosphere intensity control here, which um, by default is mapped to your mod wheel. And that allows you to control the intensity of all of these atmosphere layers, like so. As I say, the atmosphere intensity there is mapped to your mod wheel, um, but all parameters can be mapped to MIDI CC by right-clicking and learning. By default, the atmosphere layers are mapped to CC 22 through to 25, which is a standard CC range used for mic positions in other popular libraries, including Fracture Sound's previous library, Arco. So these can easily be controlled with a physical control surface. So that should give you a flavour of the new Fracture Sounds Woodchester piano. Uh, I'm James Joshua Otto and I'm going to finish up just by playing a little bit on the piano here just so you can hear a bit more of how it sounds. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.